You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT.
RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season. Y'all watching RVT! You're watching RVT, a Rashi International Broadcasting Station. Big and juicy. That's worth the time and energy. And flavorful. And fun to do. Freedom from your mind and rewarding. That's chewing gum. But remember what they say. No chewing in the house. So we waited. Don't let your tongue escape this. It's a fact that chewing gum removes 100 million bacteria in just 10 minutes. Wow, amazing. Also, it keeps your breath clean and fresh. Teeth too. So chew away come on if you dare not expensive and pure mouth entertainment for whatever the freshness of it all history is always sweet when we look at what we used to do so why give it up Gum, the world's mouth entertaining pastime. Hands up, everybody is RVT. Hands down, everyone is RVT. Look over there, who's over there is RVT. Everyone, everywhere is RBT. When you're walking, when you're working, talking, having fun. Worldwide, Rashi, enjoyment, social television, when the day is done. All you need is just to sit back and let Rashi's door open up to fun. Fun beyond your wildest enjoyment. Social media fun. It's RVT, Rashid's video tool for social media, Rashid's computer television, weather news and celebrity news, and award winning content that goes on and on. If you can't get RVT, contact your local internet service provider. RVT, now streaming on YouTube and Google Plus and other social media platforms. Call now. Sort of the frog here. I'm Rashid's pet frog. But enough about the small talk. I want to enlighten your mood with one simple snack. Pickles. Yes, you guessed it. Crispy pickles. See, it's kind of a big deal around here. Because it's basically two kinds. The classic, which is um rather small. But have you ever been to the grocers or the like and came across a barrel? You know what I'm talking about. Behold the beautiful barrel in the stores that's usually overlooked. See, unlike ordinary pickles, barrel pickles are way past the normal size. 
and talk about a satisfying snack? Oh, brother. You can say that again. Plump and juicy. One bite in your hooks. It's easy to locate. Just reach and grab, or they'll do the grabbing for you. With zero fat and only seven calories and a whopping 15 milligrams of potassium. Wow. You can even purchase a whole jar. Hey, good to much for internet browsing. Excellent with my Philadelphia cheesesteak. Go North and South Philly. And amazingly satisfying with ill. It's just one of the number one mouth-watering snacks of all time. Rocky! Yeah, Tor. Do you think they know we can't get enough of their pickles? Well, if they don't, they do now, Tor. Uh-huh. So satisfy the canine in you when you crave barrel pickles. Or go online at www.barrelpickles.org. That's www.barrelpickles.org. It's still a bargain. <clears throat> I mean, still a bargain. 50% off sale. Up to 50% off couches, bedroom, TV units, and much, much more. Go to www.stealabargain.com. That's www.stealabargain.com. All day long the bunnies worked, they got so very tired. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rachi's chocolate cider. All day long the days were rough, it was no happy choir. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rachi's chocolate cider. Well, not cider, but just hot chocolate. Deep, rich hot chocolate. Either plain or with marshmallows. An internet's best friend. And with 3 grams of fat and 6 grams of protein, why wouldn't you go for it? All year round is groovy! You said it, Culper. The marshmallows melt to a thick motherly malt as it oozes down your throat. You probably wouldn't stand for just one cup. And your imagination? Mm, just might get the best of you, if you know what I mean. All day long the bunnies worked, they got so very tired. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rachi's chocolate cider. All day long the days were rough, it was no happy choir. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rachi's chocolate cider. So let your imagination run wild all, all year round. Available at your nearest grocers or go online. Uh, let me try to remember here. Rashid YouTube Radio Show and Google Plus. R Man. <laughs> now, let me see. You are watching. No way. Let me do it right. Hello, folks. You are watching, uh, you are watching, yeah, you are watching, uh, you are watching. Can I please say what I'm going to say? It's the introduction, man. Anyway, and did you know that Rashi said that the animation women on my show is better than any animation on social media? That's what he said. You are, yeah, you are watching. I said, let me say what I'm going to say. First of all, I know you're crying because you want to see some more RBT. But while you're watching the RBT, won't you have some fish juice sandwiches? Yeah, fish juice sandwiches. I love fish juice sandwiches. And also, I know you guys are on social media doing all kind of things, but really you look like that, like stamping nose hairs. 
But you're not going to tell nobody you look like that. Now, oh, just a minute, son. RVT is full of questionable content, son. Every time we start doing something, here comes logic, Steepy. Well, you know, man. But not around RVT. Uh-uh. Because we like coming to the studios and doing ourselves. Well, like I said, son, RVT is questionable content. Shut up, man. We go in there ourselves. And we like it because it's okay with us. Um, guys, I don't want to cut this short, but don't you got something to say? We sure do. Oh, I'm a little tired. Don't you say it so we can move on? It's just a bumper. Okay, everybody. You watch your RVT while she a video too. A servant nation's worldwide. Where's my she all the time? Yeah. Boy, that was fun, Steve. It sure was, man. Wow, I like fun. Thanks a lot, guys. Get ready and save on Rashid's RVT Supermarket and Hair Price and Saving, where you can save up to 40 to 50% off with coupon. And don't forget to check your circulars for money grabbing savings. Whole chicken tender poultry, just $9.99 or less. Or tender lamb and steak chops, now $7.99 or less at some dealer. Fresh cut watermelon, orange juice, $6.99. Fresh vegetables, so you don't ever have to wonder what's for dinner. Whether it's hot pizza or fruit, specially cut poultry, pork, beef, or chops. Fresh milk, all available for a reasonable price. Chuck shoulder roast, $3.69 a pound. Chunky soup, two for $3.00. Freshness right at your fingertips. And you can now shop online and have your groceries delivered to your door. Dice cut from the grocers to your freezer to the dinner table. Buy one, get one free fresh plucked strawberries or $2.99 a pound rump roast, crispy bacon, and a Rashi R Man advertiser for boneless beef chuck roast, $2.49. Dazzle your taste buds as you rack up on savings. And don't forget about the RVT reminder of ordering online. Supermarket savings and more are what you're going to get. So get shopping. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. You're watching RVT, a Rashi International Broadcasting Station. Y'all watching RVT! Oh, I feel so terrible. What's the matter, guy? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Oh, come on. It can't be all that bad. Okay, if I must, Rashid, I'll tell it to you. I have no sweets this year. 
You have no sweets? Well, that's not good. No, it's not good at all. I want something sugary. I want something delicious. Here, Sai dear. Try some chocolate bites. Chocolate bites? Yup, chocolate bites. Tiny chocolate bits wrapped up. After dinner or evening leisure. They're great. Hmm, chocolate bites. Hey, guy. Yeah? Are you feeling any better? Long as I got my chocolate bites. I know, I know. So, guys, when you're out, pick some up. It's great. Rest, rest, play. Remember, any physical activity requires hours of rest, so be sure and get yours. Or if you need help with sleeping problems, just go to www.needhelptosleep.org. That's www.needhelptosleep.org. Put it on this, spread it on that, a little on this, and a whole lot of that. Everything's better with butter. Whip it on this, a little on that. Smear it on this, and square it on that. Everything's better with butter. Now you can square it up with butter or margarine. Electrify your taste buds with the rich and satisfying taste of butter. Whip it on this, graze it on that. Square it on rice, now that's... Where is that? Everything's better with butter. Now get to the grocers and square it up. Also in spray style to go easy on bread. Ice cream, balls, shoes, socks, all on social media. Laughing, playing, having fun, all on social media. Books, trains, weight loss games, all on social media. Different worlds, cute little girls, things that will make you lose your curls, all on social media. Cartoonish babes, the twerking gays, the top tens that will make you be amazed, all on social media. Rashid Arman, people love, all without a lot of subs, all on social media. That's Rashid's social media. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Quick guys, run for the hills! Ah! Everybody run! run, 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 run. Everybody run! Ah! Look out! RVT. Pork this, pork that, pork this, pork that, pork, 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 yeah, 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 top the meat. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid? All the time. You're watching Rashi's RVT. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season. You're watching RVT, a Rashi International Broadcasting Station.
The following presentation is brought to you by Rashid's Universe, now streaming on YouTube, Google Plus, and other social media platforms. And now, enjoy the show. And welcome everybody to RVT. This is RVT Rashid's video tool. In conjunction with RMJC Rashid's music jukebox center. And welcome everybody to another show. In conjunction, wait, I said that already. On YouTube, Google Plus, and other social media platforms. Under Google, my post section on my page. How you guys doing? I want to invite you here because. This is so vigorating to me to do another Rashid Strange Stories and Philosophies. In this episode right here, I believe the last episode we did was under Satanic um, Satanism. This one here is an interesting one. It's dealing with human awareness and spiritual seekers. Now, you may say, what does this mean, human awareness and spiritual seekers? Because I believe in today's society, in, in the whole, is moving towards people searching. Um, I've, I've just seen a, com I've just saw a commercial on YouTube. And this commercial was geared towards they're making fun of people searching on social media i don't know they just making fun of them if you really um pay attention to these commercials this one particular commercial i'm not gonna say no names but they're making fun of uh, people searching because they know it says um how many times you want to click here click there and they got the music playing of searches 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 so forth like that and that brings us to this discussion right here because that is actually a very good question a very good subject to talk about not theoretically not not really is it a question it's a question or is it a question or not but it is a subject to be a mire and that is what are you looking for? What am I looking for? What people in general are looking for? Now, I don't know how many of you guys are Bibly familiar. Like, are you familiar with the scriptures? But the Bible brings out that man is not meant to live life without the direction from the scriptures. Like, Jesus said that a man cannot live on bread alone. This bread alone, meaning the fundamentals of the needs of life. Just clothes, food, shelter, so forth like that. Man cannot live on bread alone. This is the bread he was talking about. But every utterance coming from God's mouth. So he needs spirituality in order to make himself complete. A man isn't whole without spirituality. This is something I always say. But... That's what Christ said in the Bible. But what are you, what is your view on that? Are you searching? Do you find yourself searching for something? Now, that's what this is about. But first, I want to rewind a little bit and, and get a little. All right, how, how's everybody doing? You know how, you know how we do, the, do around RVT. How y'all doing? You know, I don't, I don't got nothing written in front of me. Not a goddamn thing. I'm doing this from my head. And... I just feel as though I want to have a little break before we get started and get caught up on what's going on. There's nothing going on with me, per se. We got to take in some personal manners and stuff like that in the coming days. But that's not really to really discuss. Um, I, I don't do news particularly on this show right here. I don't cover news. But it's a lot. It, well, it's not a lot going on, but at least 
I'm getting something from the celebrity, the, the uh, <laughs> Hollywood uh, Hills thing. I ain't going to say Tinseltown because to me that's an insult, but from the hills of Hollywood. I am getting a little bit, a little bit. So that's good. And I know y'all see it on my page. And we'll see what happens from there. Alright, I'm not going to really call out no names or nothing like that. I'm just not going to do it. How you doing, sweetie? You ready to get down? Alright, I know we had fun on our last show we did of Satanism. So I plan to have a nice, a nice, um, another repeat on this one. I particularly uh was gonna do another science fiction guys but i gotta I'm, i just want to wait for that i want to wait for the weekend for that right now i just want to throw something like this on the air i have some excellent shows coming up if y'all just hang in there i have studio 54 coming up okay i have the rashi youtube radio show coming up as you saw in the previews and i also have um Looking for Mr. Goodbar documentary and Paper Moon documentary. And if I see Universe Day after, so I have all these neat things coming up. You just hang in there and be patient with me while I get this together. I'm trying to work and keep this station running. Because I can't have it sitting. So I'm doing shows and back to back. I'm like a tennis player going back to back. But you, I'm sure you can understand the reasons why I, I'm doing it this way. And I'm glad you guys could tune in, man. I thought we could talk about something serious or of the interest instead of just going coming on here and just being a jackass and i thought that this human awareness and spiritual seekers is the first step in the right direction you know so i think this is the road we want to go on because the world in general is heading off on another direction now, misery loves company. This is something you guys got to understand. Is that suffering isn't bad if you have someone suffering with you. You see the point? And today in society, that's what we have. Now, keep in mind that I rarely or so often quote from another person's perspective of life on RVT. Sp particularly this show right here. Strange philosophies and every I will, I will, don't get me wrong, but majority of it is my opinion. It's my Rashid philosophies, guys. So you have to understand that. It's my philosophy. Don't take it to heart and don't take it personal. It's not the end of the fucking world. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back here. I just had to take this up real fast. <coughs> so you see what I'm saying on here, on here. Um, it's just basically my opinion, my philosophies, my what we know around here about things. Okay, so I I need y'all to understand. Of course, you may disagree and opinions may vary, but I'm going to state my opinion and what I philosophize on this show right here. And this, like I said in particular, show is the majority of people are looking for something. Searching. So, some people call it soul searching. Or you can just be just searching for something of not even... Of the mystic realm, just something fleshly, like it could be a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or it could be a new position at work. It could be a certain pos a level at your job you're on already. Whatever the occasion, whatever the occasion or situation, you're searching for something. Now, as human beings, in my opinion. We naturally have that need for some kind of guidance in our life. 
naturally and I'm talking naturally I'm talking natural like someone flinching if they see an object flying at their face they'll naturally flinch naturally we have the need for something else other than man to direct us and this is born from birth you see this is born from birth because one thing we never lose is the dependency on something or or substance other than ourself I'll give you an example as a child okay we had stages that we went through one of the stages that we went through as an infant a newborn is relying on these strange voices around us to give us food at the proper time to change us at the proper time and to give us attention at the proper time as we grow older we learn that those voices are someone as a mother a father or whoever who raised us up so we learn who the voices were and whoever we wind up with let's say by the age of one and two years old when you're just mumbling words for the first time these human figures of who we rely on to get by in life now we all know this as we age and go into teenage life we're still relying on human full-grown adults for certain things it could, if we don't have our own job or or, or the finances is not given to us we're relying on for money food or or just a conversation which that's rarely satisfied but we'll talk about that in a few minutes but in a general we always we rely on another human adulthood not gonna say another human but another full-grown adult as a teenager now stay with me stay with me okay by the time you hit 18 years old or 21 years old in a country in this country United States of America you are le you are of age that means you're you're if you're old, you are a young adult you are an adult now I don't know if this varies from country to country to country from other places usually I heard some places yeah that's how I'm about to say sweetie it's like 12 years old in some places like 12 years old you're an adult but I know here in the United States of America 18 and 21 is the it's the legal age you consider an adult now I have one question for you at this point one simple question one simple question where did all that dependency go you mean to tell me as soon as you hit 18 or 21 years old it all disappears it all disappears we live in a society today where it's shown to us that it does disappear now I don't know who brought this on the scene or who came up with this but this is absolutely false it never leaves us the, the dependency now I'm gonna give you an example of a personal story that I have I got married at the age of 21 soon as I turned 21 years of age adulthood Rashid got married now I don't know if this woman was watching me from the start or whatever but I know I got married at age 21 okay and when you're married you notice that your life is not your own I don't know who, who how many people out there who have been married okay but you notice that everything is easier say I drop I think I always hold my ink pen in my hand see I put this the ink pen on the table like that I just sit it I just sit on the table like that my ink pen I sit it there my ink pen I always hold my ink pen so I sit it there now I get up I go out to the store or whatever or maybe I go to the bathroom I go wash up whatever whatever but when I come back if I see that ink pen going right away I will say my wife did that right away right away now we'll grow we'll go to something serious say because see I'm a man and I like to live my I like to be I like I ain't gonna lie to you guys I'm not gonna hold no punches around my compound I'm a man okay now I like to exercise my 
my manhood, my manship around my compound. So you will see Rashid walking around. I will, I will take a glass with juice in it, okay? And I will drink the juice and I will sit the glass right on the table without no cup. You know how you got to have a glass ringer so the table won't stay, which my girls, they, they all into that. But I will do that, okay? Now, I'm used to coming back to that and seeing that taken care of. See, you, you're still dependent on someone. And she's dependent doing it. You see, so it's still there in a marriage arrangement. You can always tell it. Now, this is when you can always tell it. When you get divorced. See, now you're not married anymore. And now you're finding that that ink pen is still there where you left it. You see? That glass on the table is still the way you left it. And this is something that we as people that's divorced have to get used to all over again. You're by yourself now. There's nobody here picking up after your man ass. Or in some cases, woman asses or whatever. There's nobody there to do that anymore. So now, now you have to have a life change. But still, you see that dependence still there with you. You see, and for some strange reason, it never, ever leaves. And you may say, oh, that's because I was married and this and this. And I'm not saying that it's not the case. That might still be the case. But also, it's because we are always were that way from the beginning. Now, look at the whole the whole thing of marriage. Even when you were single as a teenager, the whole thing. You're not dependent on anybody else besides your wife or your husband. Nobody else. Nobody else. Of course we are. Even if we have to go to somebody working in a supermarket, we're going to see a need for dependent on, dependence on something else other than ourselves. So if we have that down pat. What about spirituality? What about the fact that Okay, put it this way. You never talk about the dependencies you have on yourself, correct? You never sit back and say, I put this on this I put this pen on the table and I know my wife is gonna move this ink pen. You never say that. You never say I put this glass on the table. You never say it. It's just all right, how do you know it's not like that with spirituality? That's human awareness that you put your pen here and the pen is moved, the glasses move because you're married or whatever. That's human awareness. But what about if you spiritually seeking? Would you call it a spiritual seeking? Excuse me, a spiritually seeking situation? If you're not thinking, but you're doing it naturally the same way. Mm. Excuse me, the same way if you would do it, if you had an ink pen on. I need a cigarette so I can stop belching like this. Give me a cigarette. Yeah, I'm belching too much. I need a cigarette. I need nicotine. That'll, that, that'll take care of that. Fuck that shit. I need that. Fuck that. But you see, but the, no, seriously, don't, don't, don't play around. Don't, don't, don't fuck around now. Don't fuck around. Need that type of party now. But you see um, the shit? You see what I'm talking about? So I'm, de I'm depending on a cigarette. But if I had a cigarette, I could live without a cigarette. But I'm just saying, everybody depend on something. So how do you know? In other words, now all serious aside, all jokes aside. How do you know that you're not dependent on spirituality? How can you be sure, 100% sure? That you're not dependent on spirituality. You're not a church goer. There's so many rules in the Bible. You follow every rule in the Bible. You ain't going to have no fun. You're in fact, you follow the rule in the Bible. You got to fight. You know, because you got to fight against your flesh. And we know all of this. We could go on and on and on. So this ain't a Bible. This not a Bible discussion. The discussion is how do you know you're not searching for something spiritual and not knowing it. Spirituality is something other than what man can provide. It's of higher being. It's of a higher source other than man. 
You see, you may, but it's other ways to look at spirit. You say, somebody like the Olympics, they have it. Somebody have a great spirit or a high spirit when they run the Olympics or whatever. They achieve something, they have a high spirit. That spirit is still invisible, dude. You know, it's not physical. You see, so when you look at stuff like that, do you look for a higher spirituality for your life? It don't have to be God. It don't have to be Satan. It don't have to be nothing. Because don't forget, Satan is a spirit. God is a spirit. The angels are spirits. It's different types of spirit. So spirit is not locked into one being. It's not just locked in with God. It's not locked in with Satan. It's not locked in with angels. So are you searching for something spiritual? You see, when you say that, you automatically think God or Satan. But is that the case? Is that the case? So we get, we get to the point of we're naturally prone to reach out for something greater than ourselves as an infant baby because the infant baby knows whoever voice that is going to give them milk at the proper time because that voice is greater than himself as a as a living being we never grow out of that we never grow out of that as we get older we never grow out and i mean you may say how do we know because you could get i gave an example if we're married if you was married and you know what i'm talking about or, or living at home with your mother and now you're on your own Nobody gonna pick up their shirt no more. Nobody gonna put those shoes away no more. You see, that's how you know. That's how you know. There's nothing wrong with searching. You understand? You see, there's nothing wrong with searching. That's what we're meant to do. Is search. It's a natural thing for us to search. But when we don't come up with something after searching... We may get discouraged. There's no reason to get discouraged. Now, please take note that when we're searching, what exactly can we pinpoint what it is that we're looking for? Rather, we're searching for it inside of an individual, a husband, wife, father, mother, child, or whoever. Or are we searching for something that we know isn't there, but we feel comfortable with looking anyway, just to fascinate ourselves or to, sati to satisfy something about our curiosity about the person or subject we're searching about we're searching for? So, what I'm trying to say is, when we're searching, it's peace that we want to find. See, either it's peace in general, or we're going to have the peace of mind. You see, it's peace. It's two kinds of peace. It's the, pe it's the peace of mind. Your mind at peace. That's why it's called peace of mind. Or peace in general. So it's going to one of the, uh, it's gonna be one of those two things when you're searching. Also, you're searching for freedom also. That also is very important in our search because when you have the peace in mind peace of mind peace of mind or peace in general you're free you see before the freedom comes you got to get the peace so it's a step-by-step -step process please note that when you find it because you're going to find it and that's what keeps us going are we satisfied with what of our findings in general. Once we, okay, we didn't find nothing, but yet we're living our life. In, so we must be at peace. We must have found something. Is it satisfactory to us? Is it really satisfactory to us? As a people in general, we have to realize that it's okay to be searching for something spiritual and, and get answers when we search for them. All the time we're not going to get answers. And this is what forms the most debaucherating groups ever that's known to man to form. Now we could get, excuse me, we could get a lot of examples when you look at cults. A lot of cults out there. Now I, we're a cult. Okay, but you don't need to know about what we believe. This ain't the discussion about that, but still, 
cults all so most of the time the real popular ones wind up in defeat you see they wind up in defeat they wind up destroyed because they got sloppy you see they got sloppy <coughs> excuse me nine times out of ten the cults that screwed up is because they got too greedy or loosely now the people that belong to these cults that lost their life is it their fault all they was doing was searching out for someone to take care of them if you if I, if you go park your goddamn car in a parking garage and i work at the parking garage and i come down and look at you and give you a ticket or take your ticket when you get your car i'll come up to you and say i took care of you and you will say yes and you will drive right out the parking lot to be taken care of not nece doesn't necessarily mean somebody taking care of you like feeding you or clothing you or washing you it could be just checking you making sure you're fine so everybody's looking for someone to take care of them you dig what i'm saying it's words are funny because it's all the way you perceive them to define are they true or false you see so when I, are you really searching and when i ask the question all over again what are you looking for what are you searching for what do you need in life? Do you need it or do you want it? It's a difference between need and want. You see, a need is is if you don't get it, turmoil is going to happen. A want is, hey, you could do without it. Like the cigarette I'm ready to light. You see the point? So don't get the, the two intertwined and live your life that way. You see the point? There's nothing wrong for searching out for something greater than man, but still sticking in society the way society is ran. There's nothing wrong with that. See, you're take we have a we as people have a, a, a habit of taking words and twisting them around to fit how we feel and to make us go about our daily life. And all the time it could be something bad to, to us, you see. We have to realize not everything is it seems. That's what makes life so beautiful. Because it's not one way. It's a multitude of ways. If life was just one way, it would nobody there would be no such thing as somebody being happy. No such thing. Now you may say you may have you have a job or whatever. Okay? Now listen to me. And in his job which I had before, which we had, sweetie, you know that. You do the same thing every day. The same thing. You get on a bus, you see the same people every day. You do this. You've been doing this for years. The same thing all the time. All the time. All the time. It's pretty boring, isn't it? It's pretty uh, dull. Sometimes you may get aggravated doing it, but you never show it. No matter how dull it is. Or how aggravated you get. You always get a break. Now that break may come around once a week. Twice a week. Or it may come around just occasionally. But it's going to come around. At that time realize that's your time. Your time. Now the reason why I told you that. That, that right there is because. The name of this show is. Human Awareness. And Spiritual Seekers. That's the name of the show now. If you keep searching for something over and over and over again, what will happen? The same way, it will get dull, you see. It will get dull the same way. It's up to us to fascinate ourselves and make our spiritual seeking or, or human awareness exciting. Nobody else could do it for us but ourselves. We don't want to fall into like a cookie cutter of life activities of doing things the same way over and over and over again. Because you may say to yourself, I see I do the same thing over and over again. I say the same shit 
is a celebrity in concert over and over again. In school, I do the same shit. At work, I catch the same bus or whatever, whatever. But you have something right there you're not paying attention to that will help you out through all of that. And that is what's up in your head. See, there's a such thing as numbing yourself out to your environment and traveling and thinking anything you want. See, you have to use what's up inside your head to escape your environment sometime to get through life's difficult times. If you don't do it, then you're, pro you're making yourself as this cookie cutter of life doing the same thing, the same thing over and over and over again. And that becomes nobody's fault but your own. We have the ability to choose what to think more than what to do. We live in a society where we have rules and laws by the government that runs our country or whatever that we have to go by. This is fine. But what about up in our head? See, we're free up there. Up there, we're free to think anything we want, man. And if we don't do it, we're depriving ourselves of our human right to be happy. True, everybody is seeking something or someone. Everybody is seeking something or someone. But we have to realize one thing with this seeking. Once we find it, will we be happy? Because see, life is nothing but a bunch of chapters. I had no idea that I was going to be this way on social media when I was a young child in school. I had no idea that I was going to... And you can say the same thing about your life. Life is nothing but a bunch of chapters. But in the, at, in the, in the, end, of your ch at the end of your chapter... What will it say? Well, will it say that you did everything you can to satisfy yourself? Or will it say you deprive yourself? Or will it say you deprive yourself? So you have to ask yourself these questions. What motivates us to search for something greater than ourselves? Like the commercial on YouTube I spoke about, unsatisfaction. We're not satisfied. See, once we're not satisfied with something, we're prone to search for something else or something along that line to satisfy us. You understand? So we're going to keep searching for whatever it is that satisfy us. But if you notice, when, whenever in history, in life, did somebody say, I'm 100% satisfied? If you was digging for gold out in a mine or a, let's say a, a desert, let's just say a desert, and you're digging, you're digging, you're digging, you're digging, you're digging, then you find out from a source there's no gold down there. The gold is over in the other desert on the other side of the planet. Would you continue to dig right there in that, in that area you're in? Oh, likewise, likewise. There's no such thing as somebody saying, I'm satisfied. Through history, philosophy, or any other means. If they did, they always went back on their word and said I was wrong. If they did, you will always see a flaw to show that they was wrong. They was wrong. So with that in mind, why the fuck? are you digging you see the point why the fuck are you digging why the hell are we as a generation of people digging when we know we never met nobody who said ah I'm satisfied out of everything I did in life so what, are, what what's going on what are we looking for here what's going on here the word we're looking for is contentment Content. You have to be content of what you have. You have to be content of who you are. If you're not, you have the right to dig and make yourself 
content. Do you understand that? It's very important that we do that. We have that right to do it. And this discussion is human awareness. Being aware what we have the right to do. Whether it's human awareness or spiritual seeking. We have that right. These words I'm talking to you right now, I'm talking from experience. From a 46 year old guy who's going to turn 47 in a couple of weeks or something like that. I don't know. I don't do birthdays no more. I cut out. Y'all people my age, I, <laughs> I got over on that. I don't, I'm a cult leader. I don't do birthdays no more. I cut out of that. Yeah, I kind of let that go, man. I, yeah, people my age, y'all hear me out there. I let that go. Well, well y'all guys still in the game. Y'all in that, y'all, I'm a cult leader. I ain't got to do that no more, okay? So... Yeah, that birthday thing, I gave that up. Ain't no such thing. I'm 46. And I, I, I think I think I am. I, I think I am. The last time I checked, I'm 46. I, yeah, well, times change, man. I cut that. I don't do birthdays no more, man. I don't know. I, I, I stopped that alone. When I was a cult, when I started my group, I stopped all of that, man. Why, why bother? When I turned 40 years old, I said, why bother? Dude? So I keep a, tr a track of it because I'm not an idiot. Somebody asked me on the street. I go for a job interview. It's like, all right, you know, how old are you? Okay, I'm 40. But I don't really... I, I got, I'm a cult leader. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for it. I stop that. That's just numbers in the calendar. I ain't got time for that. But anyway, let's get let's get to something else. This real, this realistic. Let's talk about something else. This reality. Okay. Let's talk about something else. That's reality. Okay. Other than that birthday stuff I just said. Let's talk about something else that's real. Uh, it's important. It's very important. <laughs> To keep, stop the lick giggling shit. Because I ain't going that fucking way. Ain't no way. 40 years old is the limit for me. That's that's the limit, dude. Ain't, I ain't counting shit no more. I don't fuck, I don't fuck that calendar. I don't give a fuck about it. You know, but I can play tic-tac-toe on that damn thing. That's a block. There's a bunch of blocks now. When I turn 40 years old, the calendar will turn to a bunch of blocks. Okay, I don't play that after 40 stuff now. I don't play that. I don't bring that Mickey. I don't bring that Mickey Rooney stuff around here. Ain't no AARP around this motherfucker here. Ain't going that route now. I don't play that. Now, I don't play that shit. The AARP stuff. I don't play that. Get that Mickey Rooney commercial shit the fuck out of here. Julie Garland shit. Don't play, I don't play that Julie Garland shit. I mean, I don't play it. Get that Gandhi stuff out of here. He died thinking that shit. I, I, he died trying to make a change of that AARP. Not me. I ain't doing it. Go to Gandhi. Don't come here with that shit. Forty years old. That's the limit. I I, I, I don't even got a calendar. Here. I swear to God, I go by my telephone. I, I'm a, I'm a, hey, I'm a social media person. I, it's a calendar right on social media. I don't look at the calendar the same way. Get that paper shit the fuck out of here. It's too many memories with that paper shit. I don't, too many memories. I go with my telephone, my fucking computer with the calendar. Shit. I don't go that paper on the wall shit. That's too many memories. I don't, I don't fucking do that. I, don't, I ain't going that route now. Don't, don't get ridiculous. You know? This ain't the deer hunter. I ain't Merle Street. This ain't the deer hunter, dude. I don't go with that paper calendar shit. I don't, I, this ain't the deer hunter, Merle Street shit. Fuck that calendar shit. I go with computer and the shit. And 40 years old, that's the limit. That's the limit. Now... The age is reversing. Trust me, it's reversing. I can't stand up. It's because I'm an infant. I'm turning into a baby again. That's why. Baby's hard to it's hard to stand up. It's shit like that. I'm going out like that. I'm mean it. I ain't playing that fucking shit. I'm a baby. I can't think right. Getting right back to childhood. That's why. I'm reversing. And that's it with that fucking that's the that's the best I could tell you on that. You ain't gonna catch no show like that. That's personal. You ain't dragging me with you. No way. No way. You ain't dragging me with you, dude. I don't like golf. I like roller skating. And I'm gonna stay that way. And this ain't no and this ain't no uh medicine pill commercial either. Roller skating smiling on my face with dentures. No, ain't nothing about I like the real roller skating. Ain't no smiling with dentures in my mouth for no pill commercial. In Salta, in Balta, and all this, in Balta's bullshit. Smiling, rollerblading with dentures. No, I ain't like that. I ain't say that. That's not what I said. I said 
Roller blade of real shit. That's what I see. Like, I ain't see no denture bullshit. Ain't no commercial over here. Ain't no, no Von Volta and Von Volta and all that crap. Ain't none of that around here. Case in point. <laughs> Y'all got to feel what I'm talking about here. I ain't going that route, dude. No way. But do you see where I'm coming from? In, in theoretically, you see where I'm coming from? Everybody's searching for something. Everybody's looking for something. And I have yet met, met or found one person in the media or out of the media who could honestly say, I found what I'm looking for. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. So with that and what, you're going to be the first one? I got who? What's your name? Who listening to? Baby, look, let me talk. Let me talk to these people. Let me talk to these people. What's, what is your name? All right, so you're going to be the first one in, in life that's going to find, find something. Then you, the Guinness World Book of Records should be looking at you, not me. They should be looking at you. You see the point? What I'm trying to say is, guys, live your life. All right? Live your life. We live our life and we will deal with problems as they come. And I suggest you do the same. Because if not, then you're not living life at all. You're experiencing life. But you're not living it. So, in a nutshell, guys, live your life. Alright? Thanks for tuning in. Tune in for another exciting Rashid episode of Strange Strange philosophies and stories of philosophies okay because you see this Rashid shit now okay now tune in again and stay close to RVT for some more Rashid content and don't forget about the shows I got coming up alright and I'll be talking to you guys later on take care This has been an RVT Rashid's Video to Social Media Television Production. Can somebody give these girls some socks? Good girl. This program was brought to you by Rashid's Cyber Rock Films in conjunction with YouTube and Google Plus and Social Media Plug Out. It's all about change, real change. Peace.
You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashi's RVT. Hello, and this is Father Rashi. And knowing that this is the season for nothing but pure love and giving, I want to wish you a very happy shiesa. Up next on RVT Rashid's Video Tube, it's a special documentary on what do you think. It's an inside candid look at Studio 54. Following that is the Rashid YouTube Radio Show. Let's all make it a great summer, particularly a great shisa, as we celebrate here on RVT, where is Rashid? all the time. Hands up everybody is RVT Hands down everyone is RVT Look over there, who's over there is RVT Everyone, everywhere is RVT When you're walking, when you're working Talking, having fun Worldwide Rashid enjoyment Social television when the day is done all you need is just to sit back and let Rashid's door open up to fun. Fun beyond your water's enjoyment. Social media fun. It's RVT, Rashid's video tool for social media, Rashid's computer television, weather news and celebrity news, and award winning content that goes on and on. If you can't get RVT, contact your local internet service provider. RVT, now streaming on YouTube and Google Plus and other social media platforms. Call now! You're watching RVT, a Rashi International Broadcasting Station. Y'all watch it, RVT! Get ready and save on Rashid's RVT Supermarket and Half Price and Saving, where you can save up to 40 to 50% off with coupon. And don't forget to check your circulars for money grabbing savings. Whole chicken tender poultry, just $9.99 or less. Or tender lamb and steak chops, now $7.99 or less at some dealer. Fresh cut watermelon, orange juice, $6.99. Fresh vegetables, so you don't ever have to wonder what's for dinner. Whether it's hot pizza or fruit, specially cut poultry, pork, beef, or chops. 
fresh milk, all available for a reasonable price. Chuck Shoulder Roast, 369 a pound. Chunky Soup, two for three dollars. Freshness right at your fingertips. And you can now shop online and have your groceries delivered to your door. Dice cut from the grocers to your freezer to the dinner table. Buy one get one free fresh plucked strawberries or $2.99 a pound rump roast. Crispy bacon and a Rashid Arman advertiser for boneless beef chuck roast. $2.49. Dazzle your taste buds as you rack up on savings. And don't forget about the RVT reminder of ordering online. Supermarket savings and more are what you're going to get. So get shopping. Hi, I'm a bull. And I know what I like. So when I go out to dinner in a place like this, I order something hearty and bold. And with it comes something else that is bold. Barbecue sauce. That rich, thick, mouth-watering flavor you just can't get from ketchup, salsa sauce, or steak sauce. My barbecue sauce takes flavor to a whole nother level of flavor giving you the satisfaction you crave on your dishes. Even goes with vegan dishes. In fact, it goes on just about anything. And that's no bull. But pork and beef ribs? Guys, I died. Try the boldest of sauces at your groceries or go online. It's waiting for you. Ice cream, balls, shoes, socks, all on social media. Laughing, playing, having fun, all on social media. Books, trains, weight loss gains, all on social media. Different worlds, cute little girls, things that will make you lose your curls, all on social media. Cartoonish babes, the twerking gays, the top tens that will make you be amazed, all on social media. Rashid Arman people love all without a lot of subs all on social media. That's Rashid's social media. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching RVT. Of Rashid International Broadcasting Station. Ah, such a beautiful morning. I'm ready to tackle on the day. Boy, I feel great. Growl! I've been waiting all night. Can't take it anymore. It's okay. It's okay. Just choose. Okay, uh, this one. Ah, no, no, that one. This one. <laughs> Wait, let's take a look. Hmm, mm hmm. There's a wide variety of cereals to choose from. All good for you with a key element in staying in perfect health. Fiber and whole grains for a perfect and healthy heart. More so healthy than vegetables itself and tastes great. I can't take it anymore. Okay, here you go. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there you are. I thought I lost you for a second. So rather than small economy or standard size, cold or hot, make sure you fuel up every day to bring out your award-winning smile. Your heart will thank you. See ya. Oh, I feel so terrible. What's the matter, guy? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Oh, come on. It can't be all that bad. Okay, if I must, Rashid, I'll tell it to you. I have no sweets this year. You have no sweets? Well, that's not good. No, it's not good at all. I want something sugary. I want something delicious. Here, side dear. Try some chocolate bites. Chocolate bites? Yup, chocolate bites. 
tiny chocolate bits wrapped up. After dinner or evening leisure, they're great. Hmm, chocolate bites. Hey guy. Yeah? Are you feeling any better? Long as I got my chocolate bites. I know, I know. So guys, when you're out, pick some up. It's great. Jam it, cram it, jam it, jam it, jam it. Jam it, cram it, jam it, jam it, jam it. Ah, oh, the sweet taste of jam. Oh, oh, did you say jam? I sure did. I said jam. And there's all kind of flavors of it. Like what? Like what? That's a good question. Well, look, step over here. You have regular jam, jelly, marmalade, and fruit butter. Oh, fruit butter! Mmm! Delicious on raisin bread. Oh, 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 jam it, cram it. Jam it, cram it. Jam it, jam it, jam it. The delicious taste of jam. In the morning time, it's a definite mouth opener. So fruity, so flavorful. Oh, 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 I love it, I love it. So, so sweet. Impossible to say no to. So definitely a jam it. A jam it. Cram it. Jam it, jam it, jam it. Oh, thank you, Rashid. Hey, no problem. Hey, you're a pretty good singer. You think so? Of course I do. Now, come on. Let's talk about the different ways you can eat jam. You can eat it on toast. You can eat it on bread. You can eat it warm. You can eat it cold. You can even eat it outside. You can eat it inside. This is a story about how much we like Play-Doh. It is. And they don't like it, that the fact that Rashid thinks like a child. They don't like that. They saying when you get older, Think like an adult. Yeah, we don't want to. It's boring. White people talking in microphones all the damn time. We ain't going for that. It's boring. Don't care about white and Jews talking in microphones. Don't give a fuck about Pointy beard motherfuckers telling they people not to like me because I ain't their faith. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't care about nothing because that's the social media. People like me <coughs> cannot. <coughs> People like me, people like us, could get even. Because YouTube workers and Google Plus workers, they, and so they geniuses. No, not. They are. Because they came up with this, and they know how to run it. No, don't. So, the people that work in social media, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, they geniuses. Y'all not. And deal with it. Stop hating. And that was... That was us in school. That was us after school. That was a, that's us in the tub. That was us in the tub. And that's us now. Surrounded by all these hating ass people on social media. You can't do shit. You can't do nothing. But talk. So. Stop hating. Grow up. <laughs> And I'm laughing. We laughing. 
We're just laughing, dude. Play though is the best thing you can do with your kids because it helps expand their creativity and it helps you grow. And keep smiling, keep smiling, and stop hating. They gonna keep smiling. That's right. <coughs> they gonna keep smiling. <coughs> they gonna keep smiling. We are, and all them guys out there, you trying to make me look stupid. Well, how? I got a question for you. How come it ain't working? Well, I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it like that. But all everybody out there who's trying to make me look bad, ask me a question. How come it ain't working? Why it ain't working? <laughs> <laughs> Case in point, what this is all about is <laughs> spend time with your kids. You like to do, and don't forget about your childhood. Please don't, because <coughs> that's memories. And like Play-Doh, because I played with my kids, and I played them when I was little, no matter what they did, I always feel like Play-Doh. I always feel like, I always will. I swear to big Christ. And pointy beard people telling they people not to like me, I don't give a fuck about them. I don't care. I ain't got a pointy beard. I don't need a pointy beard. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> so, case in point, like Play-Doh, because it helps you grow in maturity. It helps you be a man when you grow up. You be a man, a real man. <laughs> Not when I was a child. When I was a child, you know, it was a different story. I never did believe in child psychology. You said it, Pokey. You said it. <laughs> I like y'all liking me, though. I like that. Never had nobody. I have never had. I never had it, but. <laughs> To you guys, what you say? You say something. You almost finish these things. Don't give up your childhood because there ain't nothing left when you do. Okay? Finish listening to people talking microphones and hope for the best for the future. <laughs> 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 Hey, having spaghetti tonight? A whole lot of vegetables. Sauce just the way you like it. It's the thickest, heartiest sauce ever. Made with a whole lot of plump, juicy tomatoes. Special seasonings and spices. With that zesty, full-body tomato taste. Now you're eating spaghetti. So serve up some Italiano at its best. Now at your local market. Or go online at www.italiancooking.org That's www.italiancooking.org
No woman expects makeup to turn back the clock. But she does expect to look terrific now. That's what replenishing makeup's about. It's got special replenishers in it. Not only to improve the look, but you can feel it on your skin. Replenishing Makeup Ad, brought to you by RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, for the Rashid woman in you. You're watching RVT, a Rashid International Broadcasting Station. Y'all watching RBT! Welcome everybody to South of the Border. Yep, South of the Border. All oh, where tortillas and burritos is waiting for you. And where does she eat? South of the Border, where's typical Mexican food. Typical. Look at the Mexican pizza as tacos to the cha-cha. Oh, this way, Rashid. I see, I see. Hey, look at the pepper. Very inspiring. I love the burrito. So satisfying, a hunger quencher. And don't forget about the tacos, Rashid. You bet, a short gift to everyone. Hey, just check out the expressions when they find out what's for dinner. Indeed, Rashid. And the tacos do the cha-cha while they make a food drama. Simply delicious. Not that expensive and very easy to prepare. Very easy. L look, Rashid, a fight is breaking out. Probably who has the best flavor. Which in my opinion, they all do. And you have your choices of mild, hot, or fiery. See? And she is gorgeous. Dance away, Chi Chi. You too, Pepper. Just look at those tortillas. Boy, all this is a Rashid's family favorite. We're simply addicted. Tacos! A taco deluxe dinner. All you can eat. So, I think we said it all. So, check it out. And your nearest grocers will go online at www.eatmexican.com That's www.eatmexican.com Go ahead, Roger. Huh? Go ahead, Roger, go ahead. Go watch it, watch these video too. <laughs> Let it go. E show offs. <coughs> Your adventure starts here. Luggage from top names over sixty five percent off. Just surf over to www.luggage.com. That's www.luggage.com. So you're sitting around bored with nothing to do. Nothing's going on and nothing's happening. Hmm, getting a little sweet tooth, I see. You're thinking about all the delicious candies you can eat. All sorts of candy. Candy bars to soft drinks. Anything just to satisfy your sweet tooth. Did you know you could just get a box of sugar, just a teaspoon, put it in your hand, and up, you're enjoying a no-fat treat. Sugar has absolutely no fat whatsoever. Doesn't mean you can indulge in it, but it's good to just taste on your tongue from time to time. So before you go out and get that candy bar soft drink, just get a little sugar, put it in the palm of your hand, and remember, a spoonful of sugar may help the medicine go down after all. 
sugar. It's a natural snack. What's cooking? Hot dog. Just a hot dog. Delicious wiener. On a bun. Delicious then, delicious now. A hot dog is high in potassium and rich in vitamin B. 13%. And it tastes great. Did you know a hot dog is a sausage? In definition, a hot dog is a fully cooked sausage grilled and served in a bun as a sandwich. Plump and juicy, how can you resist? Not that expensive and promising. Think back to childhood with hot dogs and baked babies and how the smell got you aroused with mouth water. An American ball game eatery tradition. It's no wonder why the all-American hot dog is still one of the number one best pastime snacks. Where the pork, beef, or chicken is guaranteed to satisfy. So go out and have a wiener. Look for money-saving coupons and papers in news ads. Mommy, 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 mommy's taking me to the store. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Oh, mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, go downstairs, gotta get dressed, gotta get dressed, go downstairs. Oh, I gotta get dressed, I gotta get dressed. Oh, it's such a beautiful day out here, mommy. It's such a beautiful day. Oh, my goodness, mommy, look at all the things, look at all the things. Oh, mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, most of the things you get at the stores, you're gonna get really good deals if you got coupons. Oh, mommy, thanks. Hello, and this is Father Rashid. And knowing that this is the season for nothing but pure love and giving, I want to wish you a very happy Shaisa. Oh, cheer up, kid. Summer over already? Just think about the creative things you can do now in school. Check out these back-to-school deals. So get up and get moving to your local outlet store. And some outlets, 99 cents for all stationery. 99 cents. Stock up on crayons, backpacks, awesome backpacks, school books and glue. Get them off right with back to school savings because they always leave like this and then come home like this. Really? Yes, really. So put a smile on your face. That's better. Real better. Uh-oh! So get out there and take advantage of back to school savings. Summer was great, but now it's time to go back. Paper four pack, great price. Don't look so surprised, I'll say it again. Paper four pack, great price. That's better. Wait, I'm not going through that again. Give them what they want. Now she's being a smart kid. And she, well, she's just being a kid. Go back to school in style at your local outlet dealers. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide.
You're watching RVT of Ashi International Broadcasting Station. Pork this, pork that, pork this, pork that, pork, 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 pork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top the meat. Y'all watch it, RBT! I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just when I think about how much I love and what chocolate. Oh! Just a reminder, there's always time for chocolate. Up next on RBT by She's Video Tube, it's a special documentary on what do you think. It's an inside candid look at Studio 54. Following that is the Rashid YouTube radio show. Let's all make it a great summer, particularly a great shyster, as we celebrate here on RBT, where is Rashid? all the time.